Well, now I've just got the hilarious idea of... <laughs> While everyone's off fighting that coyote, this is the perfect opportunity to sneak in here. My god, aim it better. Aim it better. <laughs> oh, I missed! <laughs> I really, I really ruffled some feathers. Jeez, you pee on some kids and all of a sudden you're a kid peer on her. Sheesh! Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot here, finally back playing Wolf Quest, which is, of course, the best animal simulator slash wolf simulator game in the world. It's the only game that fully enables you to take on the life of a wolf and in a giant multiplayer world, too, making packs with other real people. I don't know how many of you guys have seen this content before, because this game's also kind of old, so I'm, like, going over some of the basics, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is my previous character. We have Riot and then Wolf, which is essentially the same thing, but with me forgetting to give it a name. But today I'm gonna make a new wolf, just designed after my dog, Odin. Now the reason I'm doing or playing Wolf Quest today is because of coming very, very, very soon is Wolf Quest, Wolf Quest 3, goddamn tongue twister. And I'm, I'm looking at all these videos for it. There's so many videos that the devs post just showing all the progress and everything. So we're gonna be looking at a lot of that today too because compared to Wolf Quest, it looks like an entirely new, insane epic game. Everything from details, tactics, animations, AI, everything looks crazy. So if you guys want to see more Wolf Quest, make sure to leave a like on the video. Uh, follow me on Twitch if you guys go on Twitch or if you want to make a Twitch just to be cool. I want to get a million followers. <laughs> I'd like to show Ninja you could do it with minimal effort, alright? Dude, there's not a lot of choices in here that, um... Look like my dog is the thing. He's like black with a, a brown underbottom. You know what it comes down to is he's a German Shepherd and not a wolf. So that's going to be, you know what he's black? This one looks dope. We'll just act like the whiteness is brown. I like my wolves how I don't like my coffee. Black. Can't drink black. Okay, so that's life is rough pack one. Life is rough pack two. <laughs> life is rough. I, that's, that's Mimi right there. Right, so this one's got a little dope eye scar. He's got some. Odin only has. Actually, he has a little scar under his eye and the top of his ear missing. Which I know there's something specifically for that, right? Alright, that'll suffice. I know one of these has a shift ear too. Oh, yeah, here it is. Torn ear right there. Oh, flat ear, bent ear. Limpy. Good old Limpy. No, I don't want to get. I, why? That's, that's awful. Why would you. Perhaps if you were roleplaying as the elder of the pack. Alright, buddy, little torn ear. He got his ear torn when he was a baby in, in doggy daycare. I was so frustrated I could have killed somebody. Oh, I suppose we do need a good amount of stamina, though, obviously. We need to be very fast just to catch our prey in the first place. We don't do a lot of bites, but it's got... I also want more stamina, though, to be honest. At least 40% stamina. A lot of creatures run for a long time. And my name is Odin. We came out looking a slightly different color than I predicted, and we have the nose scar I didn't plan on either. I'm, I don't know why I'm burping so much. Alright, see, these people are raising some puppies. I don't really want to have any kids of my own because little bastards are just needy, to be honest. No, because I don't want to play this for the next, like, full 12 hours of my life, which is really what you get into because when you, you made it with, like, a stranger on the internet and forming a family with them and then... Coyotes, cougars, or like, will come for your babies. You'll have to migrate and go to new areas. So many things could happen. Anything that really happens in a wolf's life could happen here. Dude, really take in how like old this game looks right now because when you see how it's gonna look in the future, it'll blow your socks clean off, which is a wild feeling. I just have a pile of socks across the room from me from just where. That's generally where my socks blow when they. What is this? Is this a boat? Oh, this kind of stuff depresses me. Oh, it's a wheel. Okay. This boat would have meant that this whole place used to be filled with water and not like 50 million years ago. Like, enough time for them to have a boat. Alright, I'm looking at the chat. It appears someone was, someone was taken. Someone, someone took a baby. I don't think I grew my pups. Hang on, let's try and find where these... Da okay, so the den's this way. I'm going off a little compass in the top left. Yep, yeah, also the names. The names are a dead giveaway as to where we're going. I did an episode one time where me and my cousin Ryan came out here and had a family. That was dope because it will actually, I, I think he killed the baby because he took it in the river in the deep water and dropped it on accident. And of course, as babies tend to do when that happens, they, um, they die. 
yeah definitely make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see a bunch more wolf quest content i used to love wolf quest and lif my two favorite animal simulators which actually did really good on my channel but they they canceled lif because the game was so old and not nobody was playing it and um which was weird because each video would get like a hundred thousand views but the servers all had like three people it was weird funky stuff but it, I don't know, there just didn't seem a point. There wasn't a lot of new content to Wolf Quest, and that's because the devs have been working like crazy just to unleash an all-new expansion. I think it's an expansion. I, I know it's, it's called Wolf Quest 3, but I'm 99% sure it's not going to be a new Wolf Quest that you have to buy. I think owners of this will be fine. I think. I'm just getting a look at this. All these crows. I think, I think they... Whoop! I have my sensitivity on so high. I wonder if they actually erode the body. Alright, I'm gonna go walk on into this pack of wolves right now. This could go either way. They might just... They might be some group of friends on Discord who don't want some random stranger walking up to their pack, you know? You could easily be an annoying griefer if I just started walking up and stealing their children, which I really don't want to do. Because people take this game hardcore. Like, you're actually stealing their babies. There's also a lot of furries on this game, which I could see. Because if you want to roleplay as, like, a wolf or a dog or something, this is the place to do it. This is where we all congregate, because deep down we all love wolves. And if you don't love wolves, you're just a bitch to this. <laughs> Who the hell doesn't love wolves? <gasps> Look at them over there. A full-on pack with their puppies. I'm going to back up a little bit. Oh, Marie's coming this way. Social awkwardness kicks in. Please don't make me talk to anybody. I just came here to be a wolf. I'm going to howl at him. No one gets to claim one pup we help out with all. Oh, that's beautiful. It's just a giant. Perhaps I'm going to go in for a closer look. Oh, look, they're feeding that pup. See, a lot of this isn't new content. I've posted a lot of Wolf Quest videos before, but it's been a long time, so this is trippy to me. Plus, I can't imagine how crazy this is all going to be in Wolf Quest 3. Eventually, some sort of predator is going to come into the area and try and eat one of the puppies. Which I used to think was insanely cruel, but it also sucks if the predator... Yeah, it is kind of cruel. When, is, when, you come, when it comes down to it, getting ripped apart is just never that good. So when you think of a puppy getting ripped apart, you're like, that's gnarly. Oh, they chased the cougar away. What are you doing? You get away from the children! Go kill you! This is how you earn your ranks in the hood right here. That Johnny guy's cool. I saw him kill the coyote for the kids. That's right, homie. Oh, I've done it. Oh, look at him picking up little Carson. I guess you gotta keep picking up and regathering the babies in the same little area because they all just wander off. Babies, as adorable as they are, they are also extremely dumb. What's over there? See, living in Los Angeles, I don't even own a cat. I'm horrified to own a cat because the coyote murder rates are insane. And you can't blame the coyotes because half of Southern California is just built into mountains like this. We're literally in their ecosystem. My mom has seen a freaking mountain lion in front of her house. It was years ago, but literally 3 a.m. Because, uh, <gasps> get away from those kids, you bastard. Dude, it's about to go down right now. This is like a boss fight. But um, I remember one time at my mom's ex-boyfriend's house, I was over there and the, the neighbor's golden retriever, you guys might not want to hear this, the neighbor's golden retriever had gone missing like a week before. <laughs> and I'm not going to say what we found on my mom's ex-boyfriend's balcony. It was balcony, it wasn't like a balcony, it connected to the, it wasn't like a second story balcony, it was, I guess it was a patio. But we found just a piece of said dog and that was... Gnarly. I won't say what piece because I don't want you guys to visualize it. What the hell's going on here? What? All right. Yeah, looks like it's the server's lagging a tiny bit right here. I've never seen a disappearing bear before. So it's like coyotes are a thing out here. But again, you can't get mad at them because we're in their territory. I think predators are pretty much warded off. We got these kids locked down. I guess the hard part is when you have to migrate like a far distance. Obviously when the hell if you move a short distance is it even migration sometimes I don't even hear myself and then I tune in and I'm just like what's this idiot talking about but when you all have to migrate and travel long distances oh I did it again You're just, we're supposed to be feeding these kids but these people are feeding the kids I take it snow snow and kiwi have, have the babies here and moon and what's your name Rowan are the males so this one just dropped off food for the puppies. That one's just licking herself. Real mature, Kiwi. Amy's up there just watching out. Silverlight's watching the whole herd. 
I feel like this coyote is so screwed right now. I'm gonna stay here and guard the pups. I'll be the last line of defense. Oh my god, he got past me. Oof. Oh, look how little the cubs are. I'm not picking either of those things up, dude. I do not. I will I will click something. I will eat the puppy. <gasps> we'll delicately pick up the dog. Arr! Like, I can just totally see that happening. Which I suppose would be hilarious. What's the name controls again around here? Mark Territory. I assume that means P. Oh, it's going down, baby. This is that sweet action I came here for. What ya? That's what I'm talking about. Can I just pee forever? Ah, oh, crap. We gotta hydrate again. Wow, imagine only peeing that much. You can develop Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, now I've just got the hilarious idea of... <laughs> While everyone's off fighting that coyote, this is the perfect opportunity to sneak in here. Hang on. Aim it better. Aim it better. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> <gasps> I'm a child. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, there's no way I'm the first person to do <laughs> I'm just pissed on Jack. <laughs> I have my reasons. <laughs> God. I, at some point, I'm just <laughs> on my screen. It looked like Odin pissed off. I really, I really ruffled some feathers, jeez. You pee on some kids and all of a sudden you're a kid peer on her. Sheesh. <laughs> That's I was protecting him from, from the dryness. <laughs> Alright, this is getting ridiculous. I feel like I've overstayed my welcome and that this is only going to get weird from now. Because now I'm the guy who pees on kids. Alright, so now we might as well just go look at all that crazy new content coming out. You find tissue, I'm crying over here. Alright, so these are essentially videos made by the developers to um, just kind of fill us in, fill the community in on all the updates. What is happening in that video right there? Fill, what? Like, the butt locking. To fill us in on all the updates and everything, come into WolfQuest just basically to... I, I feel like this is a very tight-knit, friendly community that just loves each other and is very open in communication with the devs, but... It looked pretty crazy. I've seen about half of them. This is like just showing some of the stuff that he's fixing it towards the end. It gets crazy. Basically, this is just gonna be one of the most detailed realistic animal simulator games ever. I could not- I'm so excited I made a video about it! Alright, so let's check out these wolf combats. That's what he's messing with right now, like head rotations and making sure it all, um, it all looks right in the end. I- I think this is crazy though. Cause right now we're just kinda biting at each other, but to actually be able to lock onto another wolf's neck or any part of it really, bite on I should say, lock on, but you know, yeah, dogs like that typically go for, um, for the jugular, they're cool like that. See, there's still some bugs, but that's why this is a developer video. Look at that though, that's so cool, and it's ar it, arms and legs like move around how they do when, you know, like when you're playing tug of war with your dog and they're staying steady while trying to move back. It just really looks like he examined it. See, that's the only thing he's working on right now, I think, is that the head's twisted over a little too far, but it's still crazy. Especially with how fluid the little wolf walking around is. Look at that. Oh my god, I love this. Yeah, see right there, it only gets a little goofy. But then he fixes it to where the other wolf's head rotates a little too. And then this one back, and then it just looks perfect. I just can't believe that, how much the wolf-on-wolf -wolf com combat's going to increase. Because it's a big part of the game, dude. Well, unless the wolf's in your pack, or if you're challenging him for alpha, you know how many other wolf packs you find in the world? You gotta, like, claim territory and stuff like that. God, I can't get over their little realistic-looking feet as they trot along in the background. Oh my god, the dog literally looks like it's turning and whimpering from the point of pain. That's that's crazy right there. That animal looks so realistic, right? Like there's fur. It doesn't need to be like, I'm just that's how that's the detail difference right there. That that looks almost like it's out of red dead red dead right there. Red dead. Sounds weird when you say it fast. This is crazy the detail, because right now the mooses look like they're straight out of an app game. They look absolutely ridiculous, but that's like an actual moose. And look, they're biting onto it and slowly taking it down. It's so sad. Its legs are folding with it. Oh, God. That's, that's, that's goddamn metal right there. Play the detail. That's not a moose, is it? That's an elk. I'm an idiot. I, th I got my words mixed up. I'm really hungry and I'm stupid right now. But you guys know what I'm talking about nonetheless. And what's cool is he mentions that 
when the when the elk I almost called it a moose again when the elk stamina runs out and then it turns and fights like it's fight or flight you know what I'm saying but when flight is no longer an option fight is the only thing you've got it's gonna be really sad though when you take that up especially a calf because they really slowly descend and break down with their legs that's that's some heavy that's some heavy stuff right there oh <laughs> the arms that was glitchy but that's what's getting fixed right now also, they mentioned the little red blinking or any numbers you see showing damage indication is purely there just for the developers to see what's happening. That won't be in the game. And then eventually it dies, thank Christ. Because that, that squirming on the ground is horrifying. Now this video is just, it's low poly, it's, 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 everything's just glitchy and everything. It's just, this is purely developer mode right here, but it's showing the, the elks hurting. I almost called the mooses again. The elks hurting and like it's... Uh, I really love this part. This might be my favorite part of the entire thing because artificial intelligence in like NPCs is what makes video games so much fun. And I play so many games with animals and none of them have herd mentalities. So thank God for Red Dead, like for uh, the buffalo herds and wolf pack pack mentalities because most other games are just redonkulous. Like Ark, I love Ark dearly, but it's just a bunch of raptors running around every man for himself. Same with, it's, just, it's nuts. Like, I've never seen two herbivores hanging out before in Ark. I have. I've never seen three herbivores hanging out before. There you go. I changed the game right there. But this has entire herd mentality, which is just crazy, because I'm fairly... I've also seen, like, more videos of this, and I'm sure I'll show it in a little bit, but in case I don't, the mothers also have a tendency to guard the calves in the elk herd, so, like, if a baby splits off, the mom will go with it to protect it. It's just every little bit of realism you can think of. See, and then a one will always, actually a few break off from the herd, but it doesn't look like he's actually trying to hunt. He's just running with the herd to, um, show off their capabilities. And then they, uh, this is what's going to change right now is, um, or this is another thing that's going to change is they all get tired too damn quick and then they just stop. Whereas an elk should be able to run just insane amount of distances. If, the, if a wolf can't catch an elk within like the first minute or two of the hunt, then they just all got away. So here's current wolf quest. God, it still looks pretty damn great. Or the current like build, which is constantly updated. I don't even think I recorded the most updated build. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this game a lot. I've been just playing Red Dead and COD so much lately. But this, this is basically what it looks like now. Right now they're showing out like hair developments, rabbit developments coming out, with, which is very important because obviously you can't always hunt elk. Sometimes you can't even find elk. So if you don't hunt smaller prey, you're going to starve and die. It's like the other aspect of a wolf's life. Self-defense, big prey, little prey. Still though, look how much more fluid everything looks. It's crazy. It just, that, that, that looks like I'm, I'm witnessing a wolf hunting a rabbit in Red Dead 2 right there. And then you just hold it in your mouth. You see when he caught it, he jangled it about and killed it. <laughs> then you can just put it down and pick it up and do whatever you want with it. Just really cool because you need to be able to carry food back to the den to feed your babies. That wolf looks really damn realistic also. Same with the terrain and the floor, but if you notice when we first played, it was very blocky. Everything was blocky when we ran. It looked like an app game for sure, but now it looks, the quality has increased so goddamn much. I would love to see an expansion of something like this after Wolf Quest 3 is released where you play as hyenas in Africa. So you're essentially a somewhat similar creature, but in an entirely different terrain and you have to worry about lions and you have to try and take down an elephant or something. That'd be, that'd be insane. I would pay so much money for that. Alright guys, so if you are also excited for Wolf Quest and can't wait to see more like me, make sure to leave a like on the video because obviously if everyone loves this video, I'll be like, oh damn, I should post more Wolf Quest for them guys. So yeah, uh, and I'll see you beautiful people later. Mm -hmm.